Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, once again, a lot of gamers are complaining about bad frame rates in some of the games for a little while. They've been uh, uh, complaining throughout November, and it does seem, once again, and NVIDIA does say that it is due to a October update from Microsoft. A Windows update broke something. And what happens is a lot of the gamers say that their performance, when they look at their GPU performance on NVIDIA graphics adapter, are um, showing that the adapter seems to be uh, still giving out like close to 100% performance, but that the problem on their NVIDIA GPU is that it does show that the um, power consumption is not up to what it is usually when the graphics GPU actually works hard. So, of course, NVIDIA did say that it is due to a Microsoft update. NVIDIA did complain, and they did issue, I will share it again, a game-ready driver hotfix for this. This was issued in uh, November, 19th of uh, November, and uh, this is the uh, update that you need. So uh, it is based on the uh, latest uh, driver update, and uh, basically you need to install uh, the hotfix, the GeForce hotfix display driver. So uh, make sure that you update to this version of um, the uh, update because this will make sure that the uh, performance comes back to normal. So the hotfix is. Uh, available here. A lot of people missed out on the last uh, time that I talked about it. So on this page right here on the left, click here to download GeForce Hotfix. So you click right here where it says click here on the bottom left. And uh, you install this and uh, typical uh, game frame rates will come back to normal. Um, to give you an idea, it is mostly the latest GPUs that are affected not everybody's affected. If you have an older GPU from NVIDIA, it might not actually be affected at all. And uh, it actually drops the frame rate by half. So people complaining that some of the games that are running at 120, 140 frames per second were at 60, 70 frames per second suddenly. So uh, enough to really make a difference. So check it out. The link to this driver, once again, is in the description below. And uh, by the way, after careful check, it really doesn't seem to affect anyone on Windows 10. It's purely a Windows 11, 24H2, 25H2 issue. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.